Or is there more? Hi everyone, I'm Renal from the Sport Science Division in the Singapore Sport Institute. During this circuit breaker period, Singaporeans have been advised to stay home, avoid socialising beyond immediate family and to go out only for essential purposes. Does this mean that you should stop exercising, draw your curtains and stay at home? Definitely not. Moderate to high intensity exercises, coupled with good nutrition and mental health practices, are extremely beneficial to boost your immune system. And there really is no harm in keeping our immune systems up during this period, is there? On top of exercising, we are blessed with sunshine in sunny Singapore and grabbing a little dose every day might just improve your mood and enhance your immunity. Remember to exercise while ensuring social distancing and that you wash your hands after you are done. In the next four weeks, the Singapore Sport Institute Sports Science team will share with you some tips and simple to perform routines that you can follow to strengthen your bodies in your fight against COVID-19. This series will cover aspects that can help your strength, cardiovascular health, nutrition and mental health. Take the opportunity to train, think and eat like a national athlete. Stay active, stay safe, stay home. Let's go. Hi Singapore, Dr. Rico here, Team Lead Sport Nutrition at the Singapore Sport Institute. Um, you know, day to day I spend my time educating our top athletes on how to get fitter, faster, stronger and more powerful through the power of food, right? Uh, but more important than that for an athlete and indeed for you as well during the circuit breaker time is to stay healthy, to have a robust immune system and a really good uh, sense of, of wellness and so today I'm outside as you can see I'm taking some sun some beautiful Singaporean sun um, down at the park being socially responsible keeping my distance from people and getting a really good splash of sunlight on my skin and a really good dose of vitamin D um, and that's my message for you today is the power of vitamin D from the sun, um, particularly a little bit on your hands, on your face, five to 10 minutes, a few times a week, every day if you can. Uh, vitamin D is our most powerful protective uh, vitamin uh, nutrient really for the immune system. It's like putting on a little bulletproof jacket, a little antiviral jacket every time you get a splash of sun. And so um, I, I really encourage you to get outside and, and take some fresh air like Prime Minister Lee said. Uh, this, this circuit breaker doesn't mean stay inside and pull your blinds uh, and not get outside, get some fresh air, get some sun, get the legs uh, working and um, you know it's going to really, really help fortify your immune system over this period. So um, stay well Singapore and together with my other sports science colleagues, I'll catch you downstream a little bit with a few more tips um, how the power really of sports science can help you stay strong and, and get stronger during this time. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Joyce and I'm a sports psychologist with the Singapore Sport Institute. In my work, I support national athletes and we use several strategies to enhance their sporting performances. Sports psychology is essentially about performance and the strategies athletes use can also be used by anyone looking to optimize their performances, be it at work, in school, or in life. Here are some strategies you can use to achieve optimal performances while working or studying from home. The common strategy I share with my athletes is to breathe. Often, when we get stressed or upset, our breathing becomes erratic or shallow. 
So we can regulate our breathing by doing box breathing, where we inhale to five counts, hold our breath for five counts, and then exhale to five counts, and pause for another five counts before we begin the next cycle. Breathing rhythmically and deeply can help performances by reducing the intensity that we're working at to a more appropriate level for the task at hand. It also provides us with a mental and physical break from any tension and keeps us grounded in the present moment, instead of worrying about things that are beyond our control. This brings me to the next strategy that most of our athletes use, which is to direct our attention to the things that are within our control. In any performance setting, there will be things that we can control and things that are not within our control. When we are focused on things outside of our control, we are essentially wasting resources. So that is our attention, our efforts, and our time. We are also more likely to feel frustrated, anxious, or upset. So instead, we can choose to spend our resources on things that we can control. So that would be our behaviours, our thoughts, our feelings, and our choices in particular situations. Take some time to identify the controllables and uncontrollables in your performance setting. The next time you're required to perform, choose to focus on what's within your control. Last but not least, a common strategy that our athletes use for optimal performances is self-care. Any kind of performance uses up mental and physical energy, and it is important to recharge so we can keep giving our best efforts when we are required to perform again. Some self-care strategies include having proper meals, my colleagues from the nutrition team will have tips to share, exercising, check out the exercises that my SNC colleagues have prepared for us to stay fit indoors, being outside for some sun and fresh air, Make sure you follow the guidelines and keep a safe distance. And finally, stay connected with loved ones. Hello! Hi! <laughs> Try out these strategies and see how it can help you work towards excellence in various aspects of your lives. Stay healthy, everyone! Hi, fellow Singaporeans. Danny here team lead for strength conditioning at the Singapore Sport Institute. The circuit breaker situation has led to the closure of fitness and sporting facilities. While this is necessary to curb the spread of COVID-19, it doesn't mean that our fitness aspiration and athletic pursuit needs to be curbed. While we can't get the best out of the world right now, we can still make the best out of what we have. So I'm here to urge you not to adopt a sedentary lifestyle. Moderate exercise can help to improve our health, weight management, boost our mood and our immune system. The term exercise is medicine cannot hold more true at this point of time. Running, cycling and stair climbing are great ways to work on our cardiovascular health. Strength training, on the other hand, can provide stimulus to work on different aspects of our muscular fitness. In anticipation of this situation, I'm pleased to say that the strength conditioning team has been preparing for this possibility. We have prepared four videos for you. The titles of the videos can be seen at the right hand side of the screen. The best thing is, you only need equipment that can be found at home or at the fitness corner of your neighborhood. I hope these videos will serve as starters for your journey. I hope that we will not choose to be defeated by the situation. Let's not wait for COVID-19 to pass. Let's make the effort to keep those muscles working amidst the strain.
Hi everyone, I'm Andrew, a strength conditioning coach at Singapore Sports Institute. For today's session, I have prepared a program to work on muscular power for racket sports athletes. Let's check it out.
Hi everyone, this is Jam in Singapore Badminton National Shuttle. So during this circuit breaker, just like everyone else, I have to stay at home and I can't go to the court to practice with my teammates and improve. But um, there's still many things that we can do at home and exercises that we can do at the park near our house as well. So I highly encourage everyone to exercise as much as you can every day because this can also improve our immunity against the virus. And yeah, so SSI Sports Scientists and my coaches have came up um, with program at home so that we can continue to train hard um, and improve our body and our minds. So it's not um, impossible and I hope everyone would um, get up and exercise.